Welcome back to our video series of updating throttles. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to update a throttle in AP mode using JMRI Panel Pro. The method demonstrated in this video requires the use of a Wi-Fi dongle or a PC equipped with built-in Wi-Fi, such as a laptop. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. To start, make sure you have at least the most recent or the most current version of JMRI installed. In order to connect JMRI to your throttle, you will need to make a new profile in Panel Pro. This new profile we are creating will be for connecting a throttle in Access Point or AP mode. In AP mode, the IP address of the throttle is always the same meaning you do not need to reconfigure the profile in JMRI for each throttle you want to update. You also do not need to worry about changes in your network changing the IP of the same throttles either. The method we are about to demonstrate is by far the easiest way to set up JMRI for updating throttles. When Panel Pro launches, a window will pop up asking which profile you want to use. Click on New and enter a name such as TCS Wi-Fi Updater. Then click on OK. The Preferences window will open. At the top, it asks for what manufacturer you will be using. On the drop-down, click on LCC. Under the System Connection drop-down, we want to select CAN via Grid Connect Network Interface. The IP is 10.0.0.1 and the port number is 12021. Since we will be updating the throttle in Access Point mode, the IP of the throttle will never change which means we can put this information in once and never have to enter it again. These other fields in the settings do not need to be changed. Once you are finished, press Save and close Panel Pro. Now, you will need to go download the firmware for the product you are updating. To find firmware, navigate to our website and head over to the Software tab. Click on Firmware Files for LCC Products. On this page, we have all the firmware files that you need for any of our many LCC products. Download the firmware that you need. For ease of convenience, you will need to move the bin file from the Downloads folder to the Panel Pro profile that we just created. Now that we have Panel Pro all set up to update our throttle, we can get updating. To get started, we are going to put our throttle in access point mode and connect the PC to the throttle. On the startup screen, press button 7. This takes you to the bootloader. At the bottom of the screen, there are two options. Press 9 for Exit or 8 for AP mode. Here we are going to press 8. On your PC, you want to navigate to your Wi-Fi settings. Here, the throttle will pop up as TCS underscore THR and then a set of numbers showing the throttle ID. Connect to your throttle. An important note is to connect your PC and throttle before you restart Panel Pro. If you do not do this, you will get an error. Once it is successfully connected, we will now restart Panel Pro. When it restarts, you will see your new profile. Then, the main Panel Pro window will open. At the top, there will be a drop down labeled LCC. Click on it. Next, Click on Firmware Updater. A new window will open. Click on Select. This will open a window asking for a firmware file. 
click on the firmware file that we moved from our downloads folder. Next, there is a target node ID under this field. We will select the devices node. All of TCS's IDs start with 09.00.99. Then hit load and the progress bar will move. Yet again, the throttle screen and LEDs will flash, indicating the update is in progress. Once again, your throttle will automatically reboot into the new firmware. That's it. If you have any questions about this method, feel free to contact our technical support team. The details are listed on our website. And thank you for watching.